How's it going everyone? Brodosam here. So uh, this is a short video about some of the updates that happened in the PS4 and PS5 jailbreaking scene. So uh, let's start with the PS5. Uh, it seems like uh, developer Spectre has uh, implemented WebKit for the PS5 kernel exploit uh, UMTX, which will allow you to jailbreak the PS5 on supported firmwares through the web browser, through the WebKit uh, exploit, instead of doing the BDJ or the game save, which many of users cannot do. So uh, this will be the easiest way to jailbreak uh, the PS5 on supported firmwares. Uh, this is using the uh, PS3 WebKit exploit with the UMTX kernel exploit to achieve a full jailbreak. Well, not actually a full jailbreak because there's still the hypervisor, but this is a kernel exploit plus a WebKit exploit and it will be the easiest way to jailbreak the PS5 and have uh, things running like uh, homebrew apps and uh, fake packages. Uh, so this is all uh, the news for the PS5 jailbreaking. Uh, this has not been released yet. Uh, this was uh, posted two hours ago by Spectre and uh, there's no word yet when it will be released. For the PS4, uh, it seems like Goldhan 2.4 B17 will soon be released to firmware 10.50, 10.70 and 10.71, which means if your PS4 is on any of those firmwares, you can jailbreak it with the PP Pawn exploit once Goldhan is released for those uh, firmwares. But there is uh, an issue with rest mode uh, developer chameleon set that rest mode has a shutdown issue so once this uh, has been released uh, do not use rest mode until it is fixed uh, it will cause shutdowns uh, he says that they don't have enough time to backtrack all of that uh, causing the shutdown bug so they will just release it as it is and uh, therefore you should not use rest mode yet until a more stable release uh, is out. In other news, uh, developer Cybic uh, has released uh, auto backport for PS4 9.00, uh, which means you can now backport the newest PS4 games by yourself to 9.00. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to use this. We're going to extract the app here. All right, and then we're going to double click on the exe. Here I have a game which runs on 11.00. This is for 11.00 and this is also the update for 11.00. And now we're going to backport them to firmware 9.00 by simply, I'm not sure if the drag and drop works here, so I'm just going to go ahead and try it. This is the base game. Yep, <laughs> drop, drag and drop is not supported. So let's just go the old fashioned way. Select game package. This one right here. This is the main package and you can add the update. Let me just add the update 1.04 and then uh, we can select a folder where um, where the uh, new backported package will be installed. Where it, will be, it will be there. So let's just go ahead and put it in the download section programs. It's going to be in the same folder. 